So we have last Sunday the gospel about wicked tenants. The master of the vineyard gave the vineyard to work on to his tenants and they're supposed to bring him the, the fruits of the vineyard and they decide not to do it. So he sends his servants, they kill them, then at the end he thinks, well, I will send my son and they should respect him. But they think, well, he sends his son, we will kill him, he's the heir, so we will take the ownership of the vineyard. And Jesus asked the leaders, so what the master will do to those wicked tenants? And they respond that, yeah, well, he will go and kill them because they killed his son, all the servants. So, parable is meant to illustrate how the Jewish leaders through history were rejecting uh, God's servants, prophets. Many of them were killed, stoned, exiled. Then Jesus comes and he will be killed too. For us, we can look on this parable as an example of very important, very well spread rules in the Christian world saying that once saved, always saved. So this parable says, no, no, no. Once saved means that if you accepted God's vineyard to be part of God's kingdom, if you don't bring the good fruits, then you are in trouble. You cannot just say, I, I belong to God, I love Jesus, I work for Him but do nothing, not to bring any fruits. That is very clear. Somehow, once safe, always safe become very popular rule in the Christian world. Even some Catholics think that just because I believe in Jesus, just because I go to the church, uh, just because I am baptized, just because I pray our Father every night, that it's all good. <laughs> well, it's good, but it's maybe not enough. Jesus asked us for some concrete works to bring fruits in our lives. Without those fruits, it just doesn't work. Just faith alone is not enough. That's my short reflection uh, about last Sunday Gospel, as it was very stormy, rainy, we didn't have some messes, so something about that. Blessings.